Now, if I was to say to 100 people, take this system, go away, and report back. You go and all trade different markets, do different things, but report back to me with your results in five years' time. What we'd have is a bigger sample of what is possible and what is not, rather than just one example like I've shown you. And agreeably, I've shown you the system in a very good period of time. But if I go and test the system through varying market conditions, it will spit back at me what to expect. But it doesn't give me the variance of that expectation. And that's very important, because you don't know whether that particular run you've done has just been the bottom side of the variance or the upper side of the variance. So if we were to use um, Works well, doesn't it? So let's assume we um, we have our equity curve of the growth portfolio from one run, like I showed you before. That's what it would look like. But the variance would be something like that. So we don't know the one run that we've done is in the middle, at the bottom, or at the top. And it's very important. Because if it's at the top, all we're going to be doing going forward is be let down. Okay, you hear these people saying, oh, well, I tested a system and it's done nothing but underperform since I've done it real time. Well, that's probably because they haven't done um, Monte Carlo simulations. In other words, their one run was actually the best out of every possible scenario. On the flip side, if that one run was the worst run, you might say, well, I'm not going to bother trading that system. And that remarkably happens a lot. People think they've got a system that makes sense, but the results come back from a one run and oh, it doesn't make much sense at all. They might have picked up the worst particular run. So what we want to do is we want to go out and essentially give our method to 10,000 people and then report back, and then we can get a variance and then assess the size of that variance in returns, and then assess if it's acceptable. Um, the growth portfolio and growth plus, for example, that's exactly what we did. Um, the variance was actually relatively small. Um, we ran it you know, over all sorts of different market situations. Um, you're going to get arguments you know, from all quarters on what period of time to do it. I mean, some people will run, go back 25 years. I think that's silly. I think you've got to take in certain things like September 11. You've got to take in uh, the tech wreck. You've got to take in bear markets as best you can. But you also have to use a common sense approach. So going back 25 years is not a common sense approach. 